morning from the North Atlantic Ocean for a change. We've left the South Atlantic, we've left the Bahamas behind and we're on our way up to the USA. So what do we have outside today? Um, well, look at this, eh? Would you credit it? This is one big sale. I just hope we don't get a squall tonight. I have to take it down in a hurry because it's staying up there for the duration. There you go, 11.2 knots, 11 knots, and at this speed we'll be in before dark. Me and my big mouth. Another day, another dawn. And the wind just filled in, so we're off again. Two knots of Gulf Stream underneath us, and we are scooching along quite nicely. Scooching, that's a nautical term. And that's about as good as we get at fishing. So much sargasso weed around, it's pretty pointless. Well, 60 miles off Beaufort, North Carolina and about two miles off MSC Melissa. Fortunately, owing to the magic of AIS, it looks like we're going to miss them by a half a mile in about 10 minutes. Oh, someone need to pull that in. Send the staff down. Give it a windy. He's cleaning the sargasso weed off the Watton Sea and he doesn't have his life jacket on and we're doing eight knots so it would take me a wee while to go back and get him there's just a, such a lot of sargasso weed in the ocean oh there we go, he got more are we there yet? <laughs> gone midnight arrived in the sunny state of North Carolina where are we? <laughs> Beaufort. Beaufort, North Carolina. One of the disadvantages of coming in in the middle of the dark night is that you anchor and then you waken up in the morning. Oh my goodness me, look how close we are to the breaking water in the sand. And we didn't, we didn't do this bit in the dark. One of the other yachts did, but we just didn't do this bit in the dark. We're close to the outer bank, a flat, sandy bird watcher's coast. We anchor in the river. We go one direction with one tide and the other direction with the other tide. Oh, I remember this being a lovely place. So after a bit of a thrash, we made it up round Cape Hatteras into Virginia, up the start of the Chesapeake and here we are in Hampton off the University. Isn't that pretty smart? Oh no, look, here's a lovely boat. So this boy doesn't motor when he can sail. We're sailing up from Hampton, which is very pretty. The University, NASA base, forts, this amazing bridge. And we're going up the channel to Norfolk. A couple of carriers in for repair. And a few of the other nasty things coming your way boats. Welcome to Virginia Beach at 8 o'clock on the Saturday morning. It won't be empty for long. We are about to walk up the pier, but we've discovered it's four dollars each to get in. So we won't be going. Four dollars. Scandal. And 
and it's four dollars to get on the pier with its wibbly wobbly spindly legs which look like they won't last the next storm As original as your grandfather's We seem to have developed a knack for getting stuck places. So, Norfolk for a month, then New York, New York. Bye to Gary and Greta. It's Thursday night racing in the bay. I hope he sees us right enough. Yeah, that's it. Go ready, back. Mind my fucking anchor. Oh, no. Summer sailing in the Chesapeake. Two squalls of 30 knots. We've been up for three hours and we've done reef in, reef out, reef in, reef out. It's only 8.30 in the morning. Are we fun? Oh, we're having fun, oh yes. Good morning, 24 hours exactly later from Norfolk and we're in New York. We arrived on the shores of New York at dawn. Very pretty, seeing the sunrise being reflected in the glass towers. Quite spectacular. Right, it's a race to the bridge. And who's going to get to the bridge first? He's steaming up here at 17 knots, so I think he's got right of way. Not many people out their beds yet. Arriving in New York, and they've missed it. No matter how often we do this, no matter how high it says it is in the chart, but this is still dead scary. Right, does that mean we're officially in New York? Here we are, motoring round the Green Lady. Oh, beautiful morning. New York, New York. Right, so that was it. Statue of Liberty, tick! Time to move on. Now, that's the East River over there, so we're going to go up there. I think this catch up there was with us yesterday. Saw him off. And the New York skyline. Always impressive. The route round Manhattan up the East River is about 15 miles and I read somewhere that the difference in tide between one end and the other is about 9 inches so you get up to 6 knots running through here which hopefully will speed us on our way This Staten Island ferry, I wonder where it's going and look at ourselves steering that packed up yesterday just magically come back to life <coughs> I think the lightning strike just gave it a bit of a fright the new world trade center poking up there that is a spectacular building That's a new one since we were here last. One oh Manhattan Square. Oh, so New York continues to grow. Not the greatest swap from the Dutch, I don't think. Banda Island in Indonesia. You'll see that on one of our YouTube movies. Uh, the things you see when you don't have a rifle. Spider-Man on a jet ski. And Domino's Sugar Mill. 
no doubt soon to be some swanky flats or condos as they call them here and the United Nations building all these rooms and they can't make a decision not only has this one got a bridge but it's got a gondola you can pretend you're going skiing instead of going to work lots of park land in New York this is where you come to get mugged or is that a foul slur? oh I hate bridges and the Roosevelt Island Racket Club I wonder if that's where all the gangsters came during Prohibition get it? the Roosevelt Island cable car this is the last bridge then we enter Long Island Sound well that's it, farewell to New York so we're sneaking our way up Long Island Sound stopping off for the night in various places which is rather nice and this is North Port Bay hardly a soul on the beach that's because they're all at work and we made it to Boston a foggy arrival but cleared up it's a beautiful city and next up let's go to Nova Scotia it'll be lovely did you hear that? I said let's go to Nova Scotia it will be lovely right. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up.